Now I can tell you he'll give you another chance so he can reign in your life. So he can reign in our lives. So we can be on one accord that he reigns. Come on, just shout glory. You reign. Hallelujah, you reign. You reign. Oh, glory, you reign. You still reign. Ooh, hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wake up. Get up and move in your purpose. Today is the day that the Lord has made. I will be glad and rejoice in it. And I know you will also because we stand in agreement. Yes, we wake up in our mind. Oh, give him all the glory. Abide in him so he can abide in you. And yes, he can still reign. And then get up in your thinking. Let's let our thinking start to be purposed and, and, and intentional that we are going to think about God's word in every area of our lives. And I know some people say, how can I just take the you, When the Bible is in you, when the word is in you, you now react. To what you have on the inside. Oh, glory be to God that I can get more of him in me daily and, and, and I can no longer walk in those things. And we have to be so convinced today that when we wake up in our mind, we get up in our thinking, we move in our purpose, that it's no longer us going through sin. It's us resisting. It's us uh, not partaking. It's us saying no. And it's us separating ourselves from anything that's not pleasing to God. And that's not next week. I'm talking about right now. And the God we serve is a God of right now that will manifest through his spirit in us when we abide by his word. When we truly trust in the Lord with all our heart, lean not on our own understanding, acknowledge him in how many ways? All our ways. Then it says that he will direct our path. Well, I know this and I'm learning getting really close to this in my relationship with him, that the walk that God has purposed for me, the steps that have been ordered for me, everything that's been put before me is in my mind. And I must develop a relationship in my mind, my thinking to be so conscious that I'm not sub subjected to the things of this world. Remember, resist and it will flee. Be not conformed to and not Involved. See, we have to make a decision that I am not going to just talk about it and say hallelujah and clap when I'm around other people. I have to make it my lifestyle. And my lifestyle begins in my mind. I have to change my mind. I need a mind change. You need a mind change. We all need a mind change because if you're trying to do something that has never been done before, it has to be new. And it can't be my way and it can't be your way. It has to be God's way. Now, if you tried it that way and it's not working for you, something must be in that principle that's, that's, not, that's not flowing. Because I'm, I'm learning in my walk, it has to be all or nothing. It's not, it's not that I play him it just in the time of playing him, but I must relate with him at all times so he can affect. Yes, he can affect my decisions. He can affect the choices that I make. He can affect the words that I speak because let the words of my mouth, Psalms 19, 14, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in his sight. It has to be a 24 seven all day, every day, every second, every minute, every week. I mean, every day, every week, every month, every year consistently. And it cannot stop. Oh yes. We cross over into new seasons. Because there's trials and tribulations that are going to be ahead of us. Remember, we're here to, to endure. <laughs> Remember, we talked about that the other day. I'll throw my hand up. I am endurance because I must know how to endure. Endure the struggle. So I'm not being bound up by what I'm going through, but how I'm going through. And how I'm staying in the place where I can find peace and rest. And that's in my mind. In my mind is where God can, can give me the rest the rest of his word, because that's what I'm putting in me. And that's what I'm, I'm allowing. Watch this. It's up to you to let the word in. It's up to you to also activate the word in you. And it's up to you to make the word work for you. No one's here for a free ride. It's, it, this is all activation. The word also says faith without works is dead. If you're not working this process and this principle, then something's wrong. And you got, uh, but guess what? God is so, so, so loving and he is so forgiving and so, so, so patient, patiently waiting for us to make that all decision for him. He's not slack to his promises, but it's up to us to make a decision. We got to get up now. Wake up now. Get up now. Move now. Oh, no, no more dormancy. I got to wake up in my mind. I need my mind sharp. 
I need to be on point at all times. I need to get up in my thinking because I'm studying myself to be approved. And I know it comes from the word of God. And I know that I have to stop looking back. I have to stop looking back. I have to stop looking back. And I got to press towards the mark of the high calling. And all of these things are in my mind because daily I'm in, my, in the battle of my mind. My mind is at war, but should I do this or should I do that? Should I say this or should I say this? And instead of taking control, see, when you get in the presence of God and you give your all, now watch this, God controls. Because it's not our will, but whose will to be done? God's will to be done. Where? In my mind. My mind has to change. <laughs> I got to start thinking different so I can talk different, so I can walk different, so I can act different, so I can truly be different. Yes, 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 yes. I can be different. Not for you because I can go get a new haircut, put on a new pair of clothes or something. And you look at me and say, look, he's new. No, I'm talking about that God sees us as new on the inside that we're holy and acceptable unto him. And we got to be holding it acceptable unto him right now. If I could draw your attention this morning uh, for our wake up, get up, move in your purpose scripture that we're going to share is Romans chapter six. And, and I, I know that it, it, the, the, the more I study the word of God, I find so many principles. And what is a principle? A principle is something that I can design my system through. Now, you have a system just like I do. I must get up in the morning. I must do this. I must do that. I must do that. And a system is anything with two or three moving parts. Mm. That's, that's, that's a system. So even you and your, when you get up in the morning and you do this and you do that and you do this and then you go to get them ready for school or you get ready to go to work or what, that's a system. And my system, it must be mm, in order. And a lot of us are systems. I'm talking a little business talk this morning. If you want to talk about statistical process control is that if you are having a system that is not producing much fruit and that's what God has given us, a principle of a system. He says, if I abide in you and you abide in me, you can have whatever you say. He says that, watch this, you will produce how much fruit? Much fruit. So if your system is not producing much fruit, something's wrong inside the system. Oh, no, no, don't get, don't, don't get this bad uh, down on yourself. Don't get discouraged. Get encouraged because what you have tried to do, you have to release it to God and now say, I'm going to pinpoint my system towards God. So I know that whatever I put in, if I put in good, good is going to come out. But sometimes we have to quality control our system. We have to check the dates. Hmm. We have to make sure we're putting, getting the right input in. We have to right, make sure we're getting the right time in and that we're, 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 we're working this system out and we're giving in what we expect to get out. Good product. Mm, that's a system. And, 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 and a lot of people today, I'll go a little another higher in business for you. Some of us have a bottleneck in our system. Oh, no, it's, it's, it seems OK and, and, and it looks OK, but it's not abundant. It's not, it's not effectual. It's not fervent. It's, it's not um, much fruit. You know what I'm saying? You got a little fruit over there because you're paying your bills, buying, buy, and, buy and, and this and that. And, you, and you're getting by and you're getting this and you're getting, but you're not producing much fruit. So if your system is, is not flowing in, in a flow, and that's the Holy Spirit. We're talking about a spiritual system this morning. But in that system, if my system is not flowing, I have a bottleneck somewhere. What is a bottleneck? A bottleneck is something that slows the flow. Oh, glory be to God. It, it slows down production. It slows down a, 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 a elevation. It slows down productivity. And if I am going to be a child of God, I have to be productive. Mm. I can't just sit around and say, well, yeah, I'm holding on and, wait, and waiting on God's unchanging hand. Well, I'm just doing that. I'm doing nothing. I have to put my hand to the plow and I got to work this system out. Oh, yeah. See, someone says, because I said principles that come from the word of God, you have to know a system. Everything was designed from the word of God. Nothing was made without the word of God. Nothing. And when I accept that, that I know that now my system has to be it has to be worked it's just not a free will. It's just not going to go. Yes, I have free will to choose yes or no, but I'm talking about a free ride or a, a free gift. No, it's something I have to work at. Mm, and so do you. So your system today, mm, it has to be free of constraint. 
Yeah, you, you know, and, uh, and like I said, in business, a bottleneck is, and, and you have a, a, a teaching seminar of, of, sl of how production can be slowed down, and instead of producing 100 an hour, you're only producing 50 an hour, and you got enough manpower to for the 100. You're losing money somewhere because you're paying the labor, but you're not getting the product to, to match what you're putting in. Oh, that's the same thing about this word. If I'm not putting enough word in, I cannot expect to get a lot of word out. Jesus. Now you say, what do you mean by that? What I mean by that, if John, if John for chapter one, yeah, chapter one says that all things were made by him through him. Nothing was made without him. The word. Remember that is the word was the word. It was in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And, and, and that word was a productive word because it produced life. Even from the beginning, he spoke a word and what happened? It existed. It was done. When? Now. But see, a lot of us have a constraint in our system that we can't speak a good word and get a good word out because we don't have enough good word in. It. And we are still living those lifestyles. We're still doing those same things and, and we're contaminating the system. <laughs> yes, the system. We're talking a little business principle system this morning about the word of God having to be flowing in my life freely. I can no longer have constraint in my relationship with God. I need a free flow. Do you need a free flow this morning? Oh, yes. Yeah, see, a free flow means that I have opened up the bottleneck. I have went in and done my research and development. I have done my, 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 my study. I have done my production test. I have done my line test. I didn't already fix the numbers. I know the numbers are way ahead than where they were before because I have constructed my system by the word of God. And now I am in charge of quality control. So are you. You got a new label today. You are the president of quality control of your system of the word of God in your life. So you have a free flow because I need a free flow of the word in my life because if I don't have a free flow of the word in my life, I can't have no flow at all. Because with him, the flow, I can do all things. But without the flow, can't do nothing. Oh, yes, you can do this and do that to make it look this way. But I'm talking about a flow in the spirit. That there's no more question that we are in agreement because my system. Oh, no, not the church because the church is in me. That's the system. And just like you want to make money, there's the same way you want to make progress in being plentiful in the spirit. So it's no longer me because the more spirit I have in me, that's that flow. The more it'll be less of me. I can get out the way. I don't have to question if this if this message today is of the flow. It's of the flow. Believe me. This is of the flow. This is the Holy Spirit speaking through me because I open myself up as a willing vessel, but I study myself to be approved and I understand how the principles of the word of God come to life right now. Because if I speak a word of life, you can have life right now. You don't have to wait for tomorrow. You don't have to wait for next week. It's right now. Seek ye first, Matthew uh, 6 and 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you. Right now. But my system, come on, is your system Steve, still being reconciled to the grave? Or is your system co committed to, watch this, committed to growing a life in heaven? Have I made a, de a decision that the flow of the spirit is no longer horizontal, but my flow in the spirit is vertical? Mm, see, that's your system. Changing from a horizontal system to a vertical system. So my system is built from kingdom come, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth in my vertical system that is built by the word of God through flow. Mm, you got to flow in the spirit. Because if you worship him, you must also worship him in spirit, flow, and in truth. Where well, the truth is, whatever God's word said is true. Done. Don't even talk about it no more. But let me get my flow in order because I need a system that is, that is, that is without contamination. I need a system that is without constraint. I need a system that is flowing like a living, living water. Mm, glory be to God. But it makes a mind change. See, I got to change the way I think. I, 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 uh, donations are, we, we ain't, listen, look, we're not even worried about, we, donate this. Donate this message to somebody else to know they need a flow. And yes, you can come and, and get it, be a part of Provoke to Purpose Ministries at any time. Come follow us. Share the messages that God is sending out that we can be more of one accord. That's how you can sow into this ministry. 
But I need, you need a flow from the Holy Spirit. And I need it right now. But watch what Romans chapter 6 says. It says, watch this. What shall we say then? Asking a question. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Now, watch this. Some people read that and say, okay, grace may abound. Well, to, for grace to be abounding, it means he's still showing grace for my sins. Watch this. I should not no longer be in a flow of sin. And neither can you. I have to be as a man thinketh in his heart. So is he. I got to think in the flow that goes from heaven to earth, from earth to heaven. And I need my flow to be without contamination. But if I am still continuing in sin, just so I can say, well, grace will get me through. I ain't got to worry about it. Uh, he, he died for y'all. Uh, when I'm ready, he'll. No, 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 no. If we continue, we are now contaminating the element of grace. Watch this. Not for you, but for somebody else. Because don't you know that someone will receive the flow by seeing the flow in you? By seeing the flow operate through you. By seeing much fruit be produced by you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's you that God has called to a purpose. But watch this. What, what then shall we, sh what, what shall we then say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Certainly not. How shall we who died to sin live any longer in it? Now, watch this. You say, what does this have to do with the system? If you want a system of continued flow vertically, you have to change positions. Oh, glory be to God. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You must change positions because a lot of us are walking from left to right still, even in our Christian walk, even in this going to church, we still in our, in our left to right walk day after day, the same old, same old, same old thing. But when you take a vertical direct, when you change directions from now, not walking as a man walk, be not conformed to this world, left, right, one, two, three, four, five, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you can look up. Look to the hills from which cometh what? Your help. Now, hallelujah, glory to the Lord right now, that when I change positions, it's no longer looking down or looking to the left or to the right. I look up. Because for my flow to be in place, mm, sin must not be there because sin will now construct me to a horizontal lifestyle instead of a vertical lifestyle. Because the wages of sin is death. Death is horizontal. Death is I was born at zero and when I get a certain age, I'm going to die. That's horizontal. But vertical is I will live. I will everlasting. I will continue in the spirit at all times. No, 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 no. To be absent from the body, that's when you're vertical. You present with the Lord because you're prepared for the place that is prepared for you. But if you walk in sin, you contaminate it and you go from a vertical to a horizontal lifestyle immediately. Because the wages of sin take you out from heaven and drop you down where now you walk in a, another left or right life again saying, help me, God. Oh, no, 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 no. It has to be a point in, in this walk that we say enough is enough. I got to look up and I got to change my direction. And sin, it says, no, certainly not. How shall we who died to sin? Now, I'm talking to the believer this morning. And if I got a newbie on here right now, you can reach out to me. On the hotline, 562-413-3710 after this broadcast, and I'll get you your starter kit so you can be one that I'm talking to this morning. But it says, if we have died to sin, that's, Gal that's uh, 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 Galatians 2 and 20. It says, if you were crucified with Christ, if you are 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, a new creation. If it's no longer you who live, but he who lives in you, I'm talking to you this morning. So if we died to sin, how can we abound in it? How can we disrespect grace? Because I'm not disrespecting God. I'm disrespecting grace. Grace was for me. Grace was for you. Grace was to give me an opportunity to have a vertical relationship with God. Mm. But then we get in sin and now we're back horizontal and we run in a race trying to catch up and we never catch up because we need to go up. Oh, that caught somebody on that one. And we got to go up right now because it's enough is enough. I'm sick and tired of this horizontal walk while I'm always depressed. Of this horizontal walk while I'm always mad. This horizontal walk while I never ain't got nothing. This horizontal, now watch this. This horizontal walk when I'm living from paycheck to paycheck. See, I'm going to help you in your business mind now because now you get your system in order, you'll have much fruit. 
You'll have thoughts and visions that come from God when now kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Oh, I got a new vision that I can do work for God and he will bless me because I'm going to put my hand to the plow and I'm going to work hard. I'm going to be the first one there, the last one to leave. I'm going to study. I'm going to study. I'm going to work. I'm going to do and I'm going to be what God has called me to be because I am dead to sin. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm connected. See, you want to stay connected to God. That's why we encourage everyone. Wake up in your mind. You've got to abide in God and you got to be intentional about it. Uh-uh, no, I ain't worried about nothing else. I am going to give him my best because I need, if I abide in him, he abides in me. And then I'm in the right position. Cool, because I'm vertically connected that now when I get up in my thinking, this word comes to life. And when the alert word comes to life, I can now, watch this, I'm still walking. I'm still in the world, but not of the world because I'm in a vertical place in my mind. Mm. I have to walk horizontally in my physical, but no longer in my mind. My mind will not be distracted. My mind will not be robbed. My mind will not be taken away by the things of this world because I'm no longer conformed to the horizontal, but I am transformed by the vertical. Ooh, that's a message I got to preach that one on. The horizontal from the vertical, and we always drop down horizontal because of sin. Certainly not. How shall we who died to sin live any longer in it? Verse 3. Or do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? I almost turned around in a circle on that one. We always want to talk about the good things. Mm. No, he says in Luke 9, he says, Luke 9 and 23, he says, if you desire to follow me, deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow vertically. <laughs> that we could go vertical. You got to change positions. You got to get out of this walk of this world, this, 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 the way the reactions of this world. Because you look, if we do things the world's way, we'll only do them what the world tells us to do. And we got to stop falling for anything. And we got to be about something that's greater than anything. That's God above. That his son Jesus is sitting on his right hand. That has given us a right to the tree of life. But the tree of life is vertical. The tree of life is not horizontal. And it's not rooted and grounded on the earth. It says if you have been raised with Christ in Colossians 3. It says seek those things which are what? Above. We got to go vertical. <laughs> It's a vertical. It's time to change positions in your mind. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no, we're well, still gonna. Do, yes, you're gonna do the, what you got to do down here, but you got to change your mind that you can go vertical with God. Therefore, we are buried with Him through baptism and death. This is verse four. That just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness. of of life. I get so excited on that part because now my life is new in heaven right now because I'm not looking for a physical uh, uh, trip because it'll never happen. I'm looking for a vertical trip in my mind right now that I can. You mean do you mean to tell me, Pastor, you're saying that I can actually visit heaven right now? Yes. In the spirit. And if you are found pleasing and acceptable, prepared. Now, let's go back to preparation. If you're prepared for the place that was prepared for you, read John 14, then you're ready right now. So you can now hear from God clearly. So you can now relate with God clearly. So you can worship him right now at his feet and say, Lord, I honor you. I give you, my, I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor vertically, not horizontal. And we must walk in the newness of life. Are you ready for the newness of life? It's available right now. Even if you say, man, everything he said is me. All you got to do is change your mind right now. <laughs> I know nobody, I know everybody else got a 13-week program, which that comes along with studying yourself to be approved because now it's a lifetime program. Uh, some people got a 30-day, a, 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 a three-day quick fix uh, seminar. I got a right now fix for you. If you change your mind right now and say, you know what? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy into God 100% now. I, I, I've tried it a little bit and I tried this and my system just wasn't, it was, it was always a little and, and, and not enough. It, it, and it looked okay. And I can say that, that look what God did, but that wasn't God. That was me. 
But if, if I really want to see what God can do for me, I got to look up because God is operating in heaven. God will not be a part of anything that is not of heaven. And you got to change your mind and think that way. You got you, you to gotta train yourself to grow in your mind that way. You have to go to another level of understanding that way. Hallelujah. And it's available right now. I want to, I want to, I want to encourage you right now. I want to encourage you right now. Well, I pray right now that, that anything you just said about, uh, I, I, I pray for you. I just pray. I pray that, that, that something said that changed one thought of you, but, uh, I bind that in the mighty name of Jesus. That's what I do. Uh, and, and uh, we wrestle against Satan. So, so I don't want no, I don't want no battle with you this morning. Um, um, I just let you know that I wrestle against flesh and blood. No, I don't but against principalities and powers and the rulers of darkness. And I will fight the battle of the spirit because I stay vertical and I stay with Jesus who has defeated him. <laughs> Woo! Has already put him in his place. Oh yes, 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 yes. That's going, that's a whole other story. Let's not even go there. I want to just say to everybody that, that as we stay vertically connected with God, that he continues to get all the honor, the glory and the praise and let nothing separate you from the love of God vertically. Oh, yeah, people can distract you horizontally and they can do things, but 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 vertically, it, it, it's impossible because nothing can separate you from the love of God vertically. We're always looking at that system uh, uh, that's, good morning, Lakeisha. God bless you, woman of God. We're always looking for that horizontal fix instead of looking for that vertical connection to God that'll give us everything we need, everything we want, everything we desire, because it's no longer our will, but God's will to be done. And yes, it's it's available right now. I, 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 I just get so excited that I can tell somebody that it, you don't have to wait next year. You can do it right now and you can get in line with God right now. It's, it's no longer that, that, that we walk in sin because we know sin contaminates our relationship with God. Oh, yes, we've all sinned. Yes, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. But we don't have to do it anymore because we've already been we, he, he's already paid the price for me. And I have to respect the price. The price is, is that grace we were talking about. Do we still walk in sin to that grace may abound? No, grace came to save me. Now let's let it save somebody else. Let's let the power of grace really be what grace is about. Instead of just trying to hijack on grace all the time. I got a lifestyle of favor and grace. Uh-uh, it never runs out. Come on, somebody. I know I got about two people out there that agree with me on that one. It may it may get you through and then praying grandmothers and praying people and, and ministries that are praying for you get you through. But it don't last. And it is not effectual. And we're not producing. We have to start producing. And that's producing together in one accord in the spirit. Amen. I have to read that again. What shall we what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? No, certainly not. How shall we who died to sin live any longer in it? Or do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore, we are buried with him through baptism in death that just as Christ was raised from the dead. Oh, somebody ought to be jumping up, flipping around. <laughs> But just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. For if we have been uni uni unified, uni uni unity together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection. The likeness. You got to start, got to change positions. Then we can look differently. Oh, no, the light changes things. Just get in the light. Jesus is the light and the light changes things. You get in the light, you're changed immediately. You spend some more time, oh no, that light is going to take over and darkness will not comprehend. That now, watch this, let's get back to this as we get ready to close out today. The word that we speak now because our system is vertically is a word of life. The words that we speak, who is the word that, that, that is in us now, Jesus Christ, that word is productive. It produces life. It, 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 it is effectual and it availeth much. So I can speak a word into your life this morning that God is blessing you because you are in a relationship with him vertically. God has your back. He has your whole uh, a certain, uh, the whole diameter around you, uh, 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 your whole, the whole, your whole, your whole uh, 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 person, your whole physical, your whole spiritual. God has it when you're connected spiritually in the physical. Horiz I mean, not a horizontal walk, but a vertical walk 
with God. And I want you to know something today. You were beautifully made by God. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do whatever God has told you to do. Don't tell somebody you need to sit down and wait on the Lord. No, you need to get to know the Lord. How do you know the Lord? Vertically. That don't mean you go out in the flesh. That means you don't do nothing physically. You get connected to God and you know what God says because you relate with God vertically. You're no longer horizontal. You now have leaked. You have now changed positions. That now you're connected with God and you can hear God clearly. You can answer God clearly and you can do what God has told you to do when right now. So walk in the newness of life. Change your mind. That's the first thing you got to do. You can't go buy no new clothes. You can't go get a new haircut. You got to change your mind first. Any negative word that's ever been spoke to you right now, put it under your foot and say no more negativity. I only speak life to myself. I speak a word of life in myself and that word of life is going to produce what? Much fruit. Mm, not a little fruit. I am expecting. I am. I am in, a, in an expectation mode of much fruit in my life vertically. Hallelujah. I'm going higher. Oh, how, oh, woo, geez. I'm going higher vertically. And I'm no longer trying to horizontal catch up with God. I'm no longer trying to horizontal catch up with you. I'm not even trying to think of what horizontal means. I'm trying to stay vertical. So everything I do is connected to God. Then I'm seeking first the kingdom of vertical. Then I'm, then, I'm, then I'm resisting the horizontal. And then I'm walking in the newness of life. Win, 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 win in my mind. And you must do the same thing too. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this broadcast today, Lord. We thank you for every listener live, every listener that comes later, that they're blessed more than you can bless me, that they receive better revelation than I ever could. And Lord, and that, that, that you give them the desires of their heart when it's connected to you, Lord. I want you to bless their ministries and grow and blow them up like never before, Lord. I want you to use their ministry and their testimony and their position to help someone else change their position get their system in order take out the bottlenecks remove away all contamination that your will can be done in our lives lord i pray that the greater is greater in us right now oh hallelujah i lift my hands and i thank you that lord is done it's finished and complete and though we can't take from it or add to it but lord we say forgive us of our sins that we can be in the right position with you vertically that your will is done on earth as it is in heaven when right now we thank you that it's done. We thank you that it's finished. And in Jesus' name we pray and all in agreement said amen. God bless you, family. You are loved. You are honored. You are appreciated. But most, of, most importantly, you're beautifully made by God. God bless.